Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Tech and Auto Show. I'm your host Manav Sinha. Now this is that one show where you find both technology as well as automobiles at one place. But right now we're going to look back at the year that has gone by and talk about the products which made a storm in their respective segments. What I'm talking about is the 2018 edition of the Tech and Auto Awards. Yes, they're here, but what are they all about? Take a look. The Tech and Auto Awards are India's first and only technology and automotive awards brought to you by news18.com. Over the years, technology has changed our lives and most importantly, our mobility. So, at News18, we see technology and automobile as an extension of one another. After a stupendous first edition, we are back with the second edition of the awards where we aim to grow bigger and better as we salute the best of technology and automotive innovations in 2018. The Tech and Auto Award salutes and celebrates the achievements of the technology and the automobile industry in India over the last year with the Grand Award Ceremony. Alright, the winner for the car of the year is the Hyundai Verna. The awards will be decided impartially by an eminent jury consisting of experts from the world of technology, automobile, industry analysts and celebrities who know and love technology and automobiles. The award categories have been carefully selected by an experienced team of journalists from News18 Tech and News18 Auto. The nominee list has been drafted after intense and detailed deliberations. Nations are considered for products that have been launched between the 1st of November 2017 and the 31st of October 2018. An esteemed set of jury will choose the winners from the list of nominees and the winners will be honoured at Gala Award Night on December 17, 2018 at the Lalit New Delhi. We also allow our viewers, which is you, to take part in the selection process of the winner by allowing you to vote for your favourite. So make sure you log on to news18.com and vote for your winner. So now you know what the 2018 Tech and Auto Awards are going to be all about. And right now it is time to take a look at the categories and the nominations that are competing for the award. Now remember you can vote for your favourite by logging on to news18.com and you also stand a chance to win some goodies. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Hatchback of the Year The Hatchback of the Year is one of the most sought after categories in the Indian market simply because of the importance that they hold due to the large number of sales that this category racks up for manufacturers. As a result, several automakers came out with their offerings for the segment and we have chosen the best. Starting off with the Maruti Suzuki Swift. Now this is one of the most popular names in the Indian market and this year it came back in a new avatar while retaining its biggest strong point from earlier models, which is the fantastic driving feedback. Another popular name that came back was the Hyundai Santro, which marks the return of the original Sunshine car. The new Santro comes with an all-new design and brings several segment-first features to the market. Then there's the Datsun Go, which was the car that helped Datsun establish a place for itself in the Indian market. This time around, it has been updated with several new features and also the list of safety equipments on board got a bit longer. Coming to the Ford Freestyle, well, Ford decided to launch their updated model of the existing Figo and Aspire in the form of a crossover hatchback called the Freestyle. Now, there have been crossover cars in the industry before as well, but none of them are so good at it as is the Freestyle. And let's not forget, there's also the Tata Tiago GTP, which is the faster version of the Tiago and makes the hot hatchback segment accessible to the market. Make sure you vote for your favorite hatchback at news18.com. Smartphone of the Year the Smartphone of the Year category looks at the very best smartphones launched in India over the past one year. And there were many. 
There were bloody battles within the Android ecosystem across all price points, including the likes of the Google Pixel 3 XL, which arguably has one of the best smartphone cameras, the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which has a great display, and the OnePlus 6T, which offers the best of all worlds, including the comparatively affordable price. It is perhaps a testament to the ever-improving affordable phones that we have devices from either end of the price band competing for the award. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro is an example of that and sets the benchmark for other affordable phones. Then there is the small matter of competing with the newest Apple iPhone, the iPhone XS Max. This is the largest iPhone ever, the most powerful too and is the most artificially intelligent phone as well. Make sure that you vote for your favorite smartphone of the year at news18.com. Sedan of the Year When we talk about sedans, they make for a sensible upgrade for most of the hatchback owners in India. And it is the largest selling body type in the whole world. And India is an important market for that as well. Starting off our list of nominations is the Maruti Suzuki Siaz, which got a facelift this year and came back as a sharper, more stylish sedan and also offered an updated list of features at an aggressive price tag. The Tata Tigor got itself a facelift too and now comes with an even better infotainment system that adds to the already segment best in-car audio experience, along with a change in styling to make it look bolder. Then there's the Toyota Yaris, which shows Toyota had a clear intention of what kind of a product they want and feel would be the best for India. The result is a sedan that is the first car to offer a whopping 7 airbags as standard across all variants. Ford also wanted in on the action and their offering is the new Ford Aspire, which holds the title for the most powerful compact sedan in India right now. And the surprise offering is the Honda Amaze, which is now an all-new model that offers great amount of practicality, host of features and all of it at a lucrative price. Make sure you vote for your favourite sedan on news18.com. Best Camera Phone of the Year This is the year when it became very clear that there are two very distinct lines of thought among phone makers and users when it comes to cameras in smartphones. There are the phones such as the Huawei P20 Pro with the triple camera setup at the back and there are those who clearly agree that more sensors at the back translate into more data captured and therefore a better image as well. Then there are the dual camera phones such as the Apple iPhone XS Max, the OnePlus 6T and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. However, Google believes that a single optical sensor still works best. And who are we to argue with the Google Pixel 3 XL relying on pristine artificially intelligent algorithms to pull out great photos too? Make sure that you vote for your best smartphone camera of the year at news18.com. SUV MPV of the Year It's no secret, the segment that has been gaining popularity the fastest in India has to be the SUV and MPV segment. And as a result, there are many options to consider from and they're spread across categories. So after scratching our heads and things flying throughout the office, so here's what we have selected. Starting off with the Mahindra Maratso. Now this MPV has been nothing short of impressive and is really the first of the next stage of products that you can expect from Mahindra in the future. It offers a seating arrangement of 7 adults inside the cabin while still being able to have a price tag that undercuts its rivals. Then there's the Ford EcoSport which got a facelift this year with a design language that is more in tune with the global design theme. And along with this, it comes with one of the best infotainment systems and has many variants to offer that have a character of their own. And let's not forget, India's best-selling compact SUV, Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, that received a facelift as well. But more importantly, it now also offers the choice of an AMT transmission that fills in for what it needed all this while. And wrapping up the list is the Hyundai Creta, which got a facelift that makes it look premium and several interesting features like the electronically adjustable seats and wireless charging. Make sure you vote for your favourite SUV at news18.com. Computing Device of the Year The Computing 
device space has seen a variety of form factors coexist for a while now. You have the conventional laptops, the slim and light laptops, convertibles that can be detached from the keyboard base to be used as a tablet, gaming laptops and hybrid computing devices. While they may look and behave differently, the mission is the same. The Apple MacBook Pro 15 update is one of the most powerful computing devices you will splurge on this year and was one of the first to offer the latest Intel Core i9 processor as an option. The Microsoft Surface Book 2 is the closest a Surface device has come to the MacBook Pro lineup and it can be detached from the keyboard for being used as a tablet. Then there is the excellent HP Spectre X360 which has a 360 degree hinge that allows you to push the display around as a laptop, a tent, a display only or as a tablet. The Dell XPS 13 retains the very classic design of its predecessors with updated specifications. The MSI GF63-8RD is a top-notch gaming laptop which is priced less than the 1 lakh rupee price point, which is a great achievement by itself. These are the best computing devices of the year and make sure you vote for them at news18.com. Commuter 2-Wheeler of the Year India is one of the biggest two-wheeler markets in the world and a big reason for that is the sheer number of two-wheelers that are sold in the country that belong to the commuter segment. Now this includes both scooters and motorcycles and we have chosen the best of the best. Like the Honda Grazia which is an all-new scooter by Honda and managed to create a unique identity of its own despite being sold alongside the Activa and that is a huge achievement. It gets features like a full LED headlamp and an all-digital instrument cluster. And competing against it is the Suzuki Bergman Street 125 which can be called as the first proper attempt at being a budget maxi scooter in India. And completing our trio of top scooters is the TVS Entonque 125 which is the first 125cc scooter from the company and boy have they done a good job at it. TVS did what it does best and that's giving the scooter a sporty character making it one of the best handling scooters in India. Moving on to the motorcycles, first up is the Yamaha YZF R15 version 3 which makes a comeback as an all-new model having features similar to the global model. It gets VVA technology which makes it properly sporty and makes for one of the best motorcycles to learn sport riding on. Finally, the BMW G310R which is the first made in India BMW motorcycle that helps in making it the most accessible motorcycle in India by a luxury motorcycle manufacturer. Make sure you vote for your favorite at news18.com. Gadget of the Year This is the award category that salutes the innovation and improvement across all popular product genres we have seen in the last one year. This includes the best launches from the space of wearables, cameras, televisions and audio products. Each of the nominations from their category are the benchmark devices within their ecosystem. The Sony Bravia A9F OLED TV redefines a cutting-edge television and is beating rivals who had been using OLED since much longer. At the other end of the price spectrum is the Xiaomi Mi TV 4A Pro 49, which brings a full HD HDR display at a price tag which can only be defined as crazy. The Apple Watch Series 4 is now a more rounded wearable and can even detect if you had a fall and notify your loved ones. The Bose QuietComfort 35 II faced challenge this year in the noise cancelling headphone space but still sets the benchmark. Then there is the Nikon Z7 which is the most cutting edge mirrorless camera ever. Make sure that you vote for your favorite gadget of the year at news18.com. So yes, some really exciting categories and nominations over there competing for the awards. But right now it is time to take a small break on the Tech and Auto Show. Don't go anywhere, we'll catch you on the other side. These machines can zoom from 0 to 100 in seconds. These gadgets let you experience the world on your couch. At the core of both is cutting-edge technology and 
This is our passion. For the first time in India, experience the finest blend of technology and automobiles in the Tech and Auto Show. Watch it at these times on CNN News 18. Welcome back. You're watching the Deccan Auto Show and I'm your host, Manav Sinha. Now in this episode, we are talking about the upcoming 2018 edition of the Deccan Auto Awards. And in the first half of the show, we told you about some categories and their nominations. But still, there are some more left to talk about. So without keeping you for long, let's get back right in. Budget Phone of the Year the budget phone of the year is one of the most important categories both for the end user as well as the manufacturers as it is this category that most of the people purchase phones in. And one of the most popular phones in this category is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro which as a result has also been India's best selling smartphone for successive quarters. The big reason for that is that the phone gets a simple yet elegant design which not only looks good but also has a good build quality. And then there's the performance part of the Redmi Note 5 Pro that is impressive and makes the phone a complete package. But a new entrant into this segment has been the Nokia 6.1 Plus, which marks the return of being a great value for money smartphone by Nokia that is also accessible to the masses. The Nokia 6.1 Plus gets a modern design and looks premium too. But one of its biggest strong points is that the phone comes with Android One software which gives it a stock OS that allows for a clean interface and quick Android updates too. Moving on to the next nomination, the Realme 2 Pro competes in this category and what it has going for it is the fact that it is the first phone in India to introduce a dew drop notch display, making it one of the best looking phones in a budget. And since it uses the new generation of Qualcomm processors, it enables the phone to use AI-based applications extensively and it is also one of the most affordable phones in India to offer 8 GB of RAM. But let's not forget the Honor 8X, which has been certified by TUV Rhineland for the comfort mode display and has an impressive 20 megapixel dual camera setup that uses artificial intelligence to offer a host of features for the user. Last but not the least, the Moto G6 makes the cut for being one of the few affordable phones in India that runs clean Android OS, making it a smooth phone to operate and use. It also supports Dolby Audio for a great media experience and has a design that is inspired by the more expensive Moto X4. Make sure you vote for your favourite budget smartphone of the year by logging on to news18.com. Design of the Year Taking a look at some more categories for the upcoming 2018 edition of the Tech and Auto Awards, there's plenty of competition to be talked about. Starting off with the world of technology, now there are several possible winners for the Design of the Year category. Competing in this category is the Apple Watch Series 4, which gets a larger screen than before but keeps the size somewhat similar to the previous generation of the Apple Watch. In its latest version, it is a treat to look at thanks to the new watch faces that have been launched that make full use of the minimal bezels on the screen. That's not it, the Apple Watch Series 4 also comes with new technologies like fall detection which identifies when the wearer of the device has had a fall and is not moving. And in that case, it sends an alert out for rescue to your list of emergency contacts. Then there's a Microsoft Surface which takes innovative approach to a conventional laptop. Key design elements include the usage of Alcantara fabric around the keyboard and also manages to sneak in the speakers underneath the keyboard. Add to that the fact that it is one of the slimmest laptops in the Windows ecosystem and you have one great looking laptop. This is followed by the Apple iPhone XR product red, which is arguably one of the prettiest Apple devices out there right now. It marks the return of the colors to the iPhone offerings and retains the metal and glass build giving the phone a premium look and feel. And since it is a product red offering, every device that is sold, a portion of the money goes to charity too. The other smartphone competing with the Apple iPhone XR product red is the Oppo Find X that took innovation in the smartphone space to the next level. What the Oppo Find X offers is a mechanical camera that pops out every time you open the camera application and that makes it one of the first phones to have moving mechanical parts. 
Also, what this enables Oppo to do is that they've managed to attain a whopping 93.8% screen to body ratio that makes the phone feel like a big screen in hand as there's no space being taken up by cameras at the front. And finally, there's a Dyson V10 Cyclone vacuum cleaner. Yes, it's a vacuum cleaner, but it is not an ordinary one. The Dyson V10 Cyclone is the most powerful vacuum cleaner ever and has 14 cyclones that work in tandem with the powerful motor on board. How powerful? Well, the motor spins faster than a Formula 1 car's engine and that combined with the straight line design makes the Cyclone V10 not only look good but also extremely efficient. Make sure you vote for your favourite design of the year for technology at news18.com. Design of the Year Automobiles When it comes to buying a new set of wheels, you can't help but make sure that you get the best looking vehicle. Now, looks are subjective but these vehicles are sure to turn heads wherever they go. Starting with the Ducati Panigale V4. Now, this motorcycle is the very definition of what a superbike should look like. It's big, it is fast and it looks jaw-dropping gorgeous. Then there's the Volvo XC40 which brings the latest Volvo design language to a more accessible price tag. Everything about this SUV is proportionate to each other and we would forgive you for thinking that this is a concept car rather than a production model. Coming to the Range Rover Velar which is the latest addition to the Range Rover family and is arguably one of the best looking SUVs on sale right now. Everything about it is sporty yet luxurious and being a Range Rover it can take some serious off-roading too. But when it comes to sedans, our pick is the Audi RS5. This is the sportier version of the regular A5 but takes subtle aggression to a whole new level. It looks fast even when it is standing still. And have you looked at those wheels? Moving on, wrapping up our nominations for this category is the TVS Apache RR310 which brings the big bike feel in a budget and can be called India's very own sports bike. Vote for your favourite design by logging on to news18.com. Motorcycle of the Year There were several motorcycles that were launched this year, but these five were the best of the best. Starting off with the Ducati Panigale V4S, this motorcycle gives cutting-edge technology in motorcycles a new meaning. Not only does it have a host of electronic rider aids to offer, but most of them are lean-sensitive, making it ideal for newbies and professionals alike. And it is also one of the most powerful production motorcycles in the world right now. Giving it competition is the Suzuki GSX S750 which shows what value for money means. It is a capable motorcycle both on the roads and on the track and since it is assembled in India, it has a very competent price tag to boast of as well, making it one of the most affordable inline four-cylinder offerings in the country. The third nominee is the Triumph Speedmaster which brings sophisticated electronic rider rates to a classic styled motorcycle. It belongs to the iconic Bonneville heritage and makes perfect sense for those who want a versatile cruiser. Wrapping up our list is the Kawasaki Z900 and the Indian Scout Bobber which offer excellent bang for buck in their respective segments. And if you spot one on road, you won't be able to take your eyes off of them. Make sure you vote for the Motorcycle of the Year at news18.com. Now remember, you can vote for your favourite by logging on to news18.com and stand a chance to win some exciting goodies as well. But as of now, we've come to the end of this edition of the Tech and Auto Show. Is there anything you have to say, anything you want us to cover or you simply want to have a conversation? Well, feel free to reach out to us on our Twitter handles. If it's about technology, you can reach out to us at News18 Tech. If it's about automobiles, you can reach out to us at News18 Auto. That's about all for today. We'll catch you same time next week only on CNN News18.